Welcome to Elector Online. Our next problem is kind of an interesting one. We're supposed to fill out the table. Notice there's five different measures they want us to find, although they give us two out of five in each particular case. There's part A, part B, part C, part D. So it's kind of a reset each time we do one of those parts. So we start out by these two numbers that haven't been given. The measure of the arc from B to D is given as 118 degrees, and the measure of the arc from A to C is given to us as 62 degrees. And now we're trying to find the measure of these three angles. So let's start with this one right here, the measure of the angle from D to E to B. And that's going to be half the sum of these two because it's the point that's offset from the center. So therefore, we take the average, essentially, it's the average of those two angles. So that's going to be the measure from D to E to B. So uh, the measure from uh, D to E to B is equal to one half, and that should be a B right there, one half the sum of those two, which is 118 degrees plus 62 degrees. Uh, when you add those together, that gives us 180 degrees. So this is equal to uh, 90 degrees. All right, that means that this here is equal to 90 degrees. Do a quick check here, 118, yep, half of that. All right, next, the measure from A to B to C, from A to B to C, that's this angle right here, right there, and we know that this angle must be half of the arc right there. All right, because it's on the other side of the circle. If it came from the center of the circle, it would be equal. But if it's on the far side, then it's only half as much. And so therefore, half of 62 makes it 31 degrees. And finally, we're trying to find the measure from A. Where is A? A, E, D. Ha! Ah, how do we find that? Well, here we have to use kind of a trick. We know, just like we found this angle right here, this angle is going to be equal to half the sum of these two angles. But the sum of those two angles, well, we don't know the individual arc lengths. I should have said arc lengths, not really angles, but you know, the arc lengths. We don't know the individual ones, but we know the sum of the two because we know these two right here. So the sum is going to be equal to uh, 360 minus these two added together, which is 180. So 360 minus 180 gives us 180 for the sum of these two. And so therefore, we know that the measure of the angle from A to E to D is going to be 1 half 360 degrees minus the sum of the other two, which is equal to uh, 118 degrees plus 62 degrees, like that. So essentially, it's half uh, half of 360 minus 180, half of that is equal to 90 degrees. That means that this angle is also 90 degrees. All right, we're done with part A. Now we're ready for part B. Let's use a different color. All right, uh, we need to get rid of all the numbers because they're no longer valid. They give us new information. It's different. And so for part B, they give us that this angle now is 102 degrees. And this angle here, A, B, C, is now 28 degrees. We know that this is going to be half of the arc length right here. So that means that this must be 56 degrees. And I think that's one of the things they want to know. Yes, they want to know the measure from A to C, which is 56 degrees then. All right, how do we find that? It's simply double this angle right here, which was given. Okay, next we're trying to find the measure D, E, B. D, where are we? D, E, B. This angle right here. Ah, that's going to be half the sum of these two. So the measure of angle D, E, B is going to be one half the sum of this plus this. That's 102 degrees plus 56 degrees, which is one half of 158 degrees. Half of that would be 79 degrees. All right, 79 degrees, and that goes in here. 79 degrees. And finally, the measure of AED, that would be this one right here. And again, we don't know the measure of these individual arcs, but we know the sum of the two because we know these two right here. So therefore, the measure for angle AED is going to be one half times uh, 360 degrees, so we do the same trick as we use over here, minus the sum of the other two, which is 102 degrees, plus 56 degrees, 
which is 158 degrees, subtract from 306, which is equal to 202 degrees, uh, one half of that, of course, 202 degrees, which is 101 degrees. All right, let's quickly see if that's correct. That's 158, subtract from 360 is 202, take half of that, 101, and that goes in here. All right, we're done with part B. Let's now go to part C. Again, all these numbers disappear, and they give us new information for part C. So we use a different color. And for part C, now this angle is 115 degrees. And this angle, DEB, that angle is 83 degrees. All right, so now we're supposed to find this angle right here. We can find that because we know that this is half the sum of those two. So let's call this x degrees. So now we know that 83 degrees is equal to one half the sum of these two arc lengths, which is 115 degrees plus x degrees, multiply both sides by 2, that gives us 166 degrees is equal to 115 degrees plus x degrees, subtract that from that, that gives us uh, 51 degrees, so x degrees equals 51 degrees. Alright, now that goes in here. And since we're looking for the measure from A to C, we put 51 degrees in here. How about the measure from A to B to C, that would be this one right here which has to be half this angle. So that would be 51 degrees divided by 2, which is equal to 25.5 degrees. And that goes in here. And finally, the measure from AED. AED, that's this angle right here, which is half the sum of these two arc lengths. We don't know what they are, but we know that the sum is 360 minus these two. All right, so then we go, the measure for angle AED is equal to one half, 360 degrees, which is the full circle, minus the sum of these two, so minus 115 degrees plus 51 degrees. So that means that this is equal to one half 360 degrees minus, add these two together, that gives us 166 degrees. Subtract that from that, that is one half times 200 at 194 degrees. Half of that would be uh, 80, uh, 97 degrees, not 87, but 97 degrees. Let's quickly check that, 360 minus 166. That's uh, 194, take half of that, is 97 degrees, and that goes in here. All right, almost there. Final one. Again, we get rid of all the numbers. Get rid of this one, get rid of this one. Okay, so what do they give us this time? They give us the measure from A to B to C. So they give us this measure right here, which is 41 degrees. And they give us the measure from AED, which is 64 degrees. So this angle here is now 64 degrees. And that color doesn't show up very well. Let's see if I have a better blue marker to work with. Blue doesn't do well. But uh, let's see, I have another blue, a couple more blues here. Let's see if these are any good. Let's try it. Okay. Hey, if this is 41 degrees, that this must be double that, 82 degrees, right? So this is half the measure of this arc length. So this here would have to be 82 degrees. Ah, kind of works, all right? That means the measure from A to C is 82 degrees. And what else do they give us? Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, if they give us this angle right here, then we know that the sum of these two is double that. So the sum, so we could say that the sum of the measure of A to D plus the measure of B to C is equal to double that, which is 128 degrees. So to know that the sum of these two added together is 128, 
We know that this one is 82. So add 128 degrees plus 82 degrees. That gives us 210 degrees, which means that this is 360 minus 210. So what I did was I added all three other arc lengths together. We know the sum of these two is 128. We know this one is 82. Add together is 210. 210 subtract from 360 makes this 150 degrees. So that's the measure from B to D, which is 150 degrees. Finally, we need one more. The measure of the angle from D to E to B. That's this one right here. D, E, B, which is going to be half the sum of those two. So, the measure of angle D, E, B is equal to one half the sum of this angle plus this angle, which is 150 degrees plus 82 degrees. Which is one half times 150 plus that, that would be 232 degrees. Half of that is 116 degrees. Quickly check, 32, yes, 116, which goes in here. And provided I did not make any mistakes, that is how it's done. You did make mistakes. The previous time. Yeah. So this is the second shoot, but don't tell anybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we did it correctly this time. <laughs>